In this video, I'm gonna show you three different methods to wrap text around a curved surface in Fusion 360. The step files for this product are available on the 3D Print Farming Patreon for anybody who'd like to follow along and build their own. So you can go ahead and download the files here. We're gonna open Fusion 360, come click this file, and then click Upload. From here, you're gonna select the files. Once you have both files loaded in, you're gonna click Upload. From here, we can open up the data panel and we'll see both of the step files we just uploaded. And now we can simply drag it in. Lastly, we're gonna come over here, click OK, right click, and then break link. And now we have our file. Now we're gonna come up here, click Create Sketch, and click on the front face. Come up here to Create, click Text, and select wherever you wanna put the text. And now you can come over to this text box and type whatever you want. We'll do Custom Shop Name, and then we'll click OK. From here, we're gonna rotate the camera, select all the text, hit M on the keyboard, and we're gonna move this to the front and then we're gonna click OK and then finish sketch. From here, we have a few options, emboss, deboss, or extrude. So each of these three different options will give a slightly different result and I'm gonna show you how to do all three. So first, I'm gonna start off with extrude. We're gonna select the text, hit E on the keyboard, come over here to start, select object, and then we're gonna click on the curved surface. And from here, you can type in any values you want or extrude it forwards. With this, you can see extruding, it extrudes straight. Now, I only like to do one millimeter, so you really can't tell that much of a difference, but just keep that in mind. Then after you're done, you can select join, or if you wanna make a new component, you can do that as well. Okay, so next up, emboss. You're gonna select the text, come up here to create, and select emboss. So we should already have the sketch profile selected. We're gonna select the faces, and then select the curved surface. And you see, we can extend this the same way as the extrude, but when you emboss it, it's not going straight forward. It's actually going the direction of whatever curved surface you're embossing it from. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to one millimeter as well so we can compare these at the end. So lastly, we can do deboss, which is going to be cutting the material away instead of extruding it from the surface. So same thing as emboss, we're gonna select the text, come up to create and select emboss. So now we can come over to the emboss menu. We have our sketch profile selected. We're gonna go to effect, select deboss, and then go to faces and select our curved surface. And from here, you can see it's cutting out the material instead of extruding off the surface. So I'm gonna set this as negative one millimeter, just like we did one millimeter for the extrusion, and then select OK. So here are the three different methods of doing this. First, we have the deboss method, which will cut out the text. Second was the emboss method, which will perfectly wrap it around. And then we have the extrude method, which will wrap it around, but only extrude it straight. So you can really see the difference here. This was the extruded version. So look at this M, it's only extruding straight. And then we can look at the embossed version and it perfectly wraps around. So it really all depends what you're trying to do with which method you're gonna be using. But these are three ways that you can wrap text around a curved surface in Fusion 360. Thanks for watching.